Hello, my name is uh, Marco De Fazio. I'm a strategic marketing manager for the region Americas, and we're here at CES 2019, where I will talk to you about our offering for uh, educational platforms. This is the sensor tile. You might be familiar with this. This is our most uh, popular development tool for uh, um, wearable systems. It's a highly integrated uh, system in a very compact form. It embeds a microcontroller, a Bluetooth low energy, and uh, all sorts of sensors from a six axis IMU to a digital microphone and all the environmental sensors. Uh, we have used uh, this uh, uh, tool to develop uh, teaching material to allow students uh, uh, to learn everything that there is to know uh, into building um, uh, embedded systems. We did that with Professor William Kaiser at UCLA, where we have a very strong collaboration in uh, developing uh, educational material. Uh, the educational material will teach students everything there is to know uh, about developing a, an embedded systems from the very basics of installing an IDE on a computer, how to interface with the microcontrollers, uh, and then uh, how to um, uh, connect uh, with the sensors uh, using a, um, a Bluetooth. Uh, uh, and uh, it will, the tutorials would go up to a very uh, more advanced uh, um, uh, system uh, development. Uh, we have two tutorials developed uh, at UCLA, one from freshman students and one more advanced for senior students. And this has proven to be a very effective uh, system where the students just need uh, to have a sensor tile and then they find uh, online uh, through our website uh, all the teaching materials in uh, tutorial formats. They will follow step-by-step -step instruction and learn uh, everything there is to know about embedded systems. Uh, beside uh, embedded system, we decided uh, to offer a uh, uh, solution to learn uh, everything there is to know about uh, motor control. We are building a prototype. This also was developed at UCLA. It's a rotary inverted pendulum, and the system is built around our Nucleo ecosystem and the STM32 open development environment. We have a white microcontroller board with an STM32 F4 and a motor driver for a stepper motor. The students will learn how to interface with uh, uh, the microcontroller, how to install the firmware for motor control, how to attach uh, uh, the motor driver, and how to drive the motor. And together with that, to make this system more appealing, they will have to solve a control system. The control system is very simple. It's a Furuta rotor inverted pendulum, where there is only one degree of freedom, and uh, the, uh, the stick is completely free to move. There is an encoder also connected to the microcontroller, and uh, with uh, simple PID loops, uh, freshman students will be able to solve the, this problem and uh, develop firmware to keep uh, uh, the, uh, the pendulum upright. So this is the way it works. So now the system is balancing, but uh, not only takes care of keeping the stick upright, but it also control the angle to, towards uh, the system it's pointing to. Now this is done through a dual PID control loop, and this is actually a very compelling problem for students to solve because the two PID control loop kind of uh, fight each other. Uh, teaching material will be also available for this, uh, for this system. We will start uh, in June with uh, a tutorial uh, set base for uh, uh, freshman students, but we will also offer later on next year uh, more advanced tutorial uh, uh, that will focus on more advanced control systems. All uh, the teaching material is available through our website uh, at st.com slash sensortile-edu. It's an open source format. Uh, we have uh, a lot of adoptions uh, through other universities also uh, on the sensortile curriculum. Everybody can use the curriculum for free. The IDE also is free and uh, everybody's welcome to contribute to the, to the curriculum itself. In fact, we also have built uh, a community of professors that are exchanging ideas uh, and they are contributing to our uh, uh, educational solution. Thank you very much.